Welcome to the Joshua Show. My name is Joshua. Um, Gerald is going to tell us about his program that he is doing. Um, so, Gerald, tell us the program that you're doing. That is so funny. <laughs> um, the program is a youth development program for the year of 2014. Uh, what it's called, it's called multi Car Limited. And... What it is, what this program is, is that we teach elementary, well, actually, no, middle schoolers from sixth, seventh, and eighth the, you know, the process of um, TV media, media arts, literature, drawing, writing, anything that I got to do with like arts, like media arts, TV production, all the other good stuff. And at the same time, we're like, we exploit it, like on our Facebook page only. And we tend to do a lot of it, like for the summertime we do trips and whatnot. And so we have a whole big plan for next year. It's an after-school program and a summer program. Okay. Yeah. So what is the program name of this program? It's called Multi-Core Unlimited. And um, what are the skills that the kids are going to have in this program? The skills that we're going to teach them is TV production, which is basically camera work. They make their own movie, TV show, commercial, whatever they want to do. Drawing class, they get to draw anything, draw, paint, whatever. Music, you know, they get to create their own music. And at the same time, they actually get to create their own CD that they can actually hand out to friends and family. And then we also got, you know, if they have rapping or whatnot, you know, they have their own little studio yeah. that they can actually perform their music, whatever they're doing. It ties into the music part, so it's like two, two and one. So who is the director? Well, the director, I'm the program creator slash director for it. And I also have um, a couple of people who are, you know, assistant program directors. I also got some family members who's actually gonna, who actually is helping me with it, with this program for next year. How many classes are in the program? Um, there's a total, there's gonna be each class for different you know, programs in it. Like I told you, TV production, media arts, drawing, writing, poetry, music making, you know, play making. So there's very, so there's probably like a total of eight programs in it that I'm trying to incorporate into. Okay. Multicore Unlimited for the following for the school year for next year. Um, because right now I'm doing a planning process right now, which is what I'm basically doing. I'm just looking for more help from people in, in their skill range. If you're like a drawer, writer, music maker, you know, TV production person, intermediate arts, you know how to do good with camera work and all the other good stuff. You know, the help is, you know, I'm welcoming like, any type of help from people. So I just want to let everybody know I'm also helping out with this program Gerald is doing. So I'll be teaching people about television production, how they use the cameras and how they edit their own TV show. Um, another question. How, like, let me put this in a different way. Um, so what do you, what, what, how would this program will start? Like, what's the date for this program will start? Well, I'm trying to start it for the summertime because I know for the whole, from January up till June, that's the whole process of getting everything together. You know, getting a team, a solid team, probably up to like 12 people. Yeah. I want to have like, you know, a number like 12 to 20 team, you know, yeah. team members for it and also for that, for the year 2014, to have sponsors from the Boys and Girls Club, the YMCA, you know, middle schools like the James, a., like the Curly Middle School, you know, call them up see if they can also help us out, and parents also, so they can, you know, 
I'm just trying to broadcast it as big as I can, either through Facebook, Twitter, you know, through the social media, social network to broadcast it, flyers, bake sales, you know. We also doing it in television as well, so you can yeah, have people. Yeah, that, that just so we can have like, you know, just so this program can come to be, find the building, which I did look up some builders actually, some potential buildings in the city of Boston that we can actually use that's big enough for it, you know, donation wise, we can find old computers just so we can actually start, you know, starting from the bottom and going way to the top. So, um, by you telling me about this program, it's getting me more interested, because you know, um, how m one more question, how many, um, how many, how many kids are you planning to have each class? Um, total of probably 10, like probably like five to 10 kids in each class. It depends on how, how many kids w in each section wants to do it and how many kids each director wants in their program alone. So it depends on how many kids the program directors want for that. So once we come up with the plan, because as of right now the stage I'm at right now is a business plan, you know, with our mission statement, syllabus, you know, stuff so the parents can know what this program is. That's what I'm actually creating now, like a pamphlet actually. Yeah. I'm creating like a little pamphlet just so I can hand them out to the parents, you know, with the registration, you know, it's registration so they can register their kids and just so I can get like a head count of who's going who just so when the program starts, I already know how many kids I have in total for this one. Because we're going it's, we're going to start in the summertime. The first setup is going to be a summer program. And if the kids like it, it's yeah. their choice if they want it to have an after school program. That's where they can come in and finish up what they're doing. And then they'll finish because we're going to be doing trips and whatnot, depending. You know, the trips is going to be focused on the program, like movies, you know, for like people production yeah. at, you know, museums and whatnot. And, you know, I just need like, like a lot of help for it, like a big supportive help okay. from it. So I'm the executive director for this program. Um, I do have an email, but I do not have it with me. But shortly, you can email me at the Joshua Show. It's the the dot Joshua dot show dot jh at gmail dot com. You can get your information from there. And That's there's a another. Lot of dots. That's a lot of dots. Yeah, wow. No, there's a lot of dots. Um, wow. So you're having these field trips. So. These field trips, they're also good for the kids to have field trips. Yeah, because um, what this program basically is, we're just exploring the minds in kids. Because I know a lot of young kids have talents. Like me, I'm a poet and a writer. I'm I a took poet. tea production in high school at English High. And, you know, me growing up, I, a lot of people, and to this day, a lot of people still ask me to write poetry. Like one of my famous poems is I Am From. And a little kid, when I was in high school, wrote this, and he loved it. And he even asked me to teach him how to write poetry. So when I came up with this idea of creating a program to, you know, for middle school, because they already have this type of programs in high school, I want to go beyond. I want to reach out to the kids and, like, you know, show, tell, you know, show them, don't be afraid to show your talent. No, I wasn't afraid to show my talent. You're not yeah. afraid to show your talent, you know? Everybody got different talent. Yeah. It's just, it's like, it's, two, it's about to be 2014. You know, 2013 was a rough year, but you know, for Boston, we went through it. And so a lot of, you know, kids, we got these other programs out there, these other awards They have all these programs, but I'm, by, by me seeing you talk about this program, is making me, because there's a lot of different programs. They don't have this type of program in Boston. They don't have programs that you can actually, you know, it's like fundable. Like you're still learning something new, but they don't have these type of programs in Boston that 
could do all these stuff to production. Because said, the thing is, even if you take one of the classes that actually me and my friend were talking about, which is the um, music part of the program, you, the kids can actually make their own CD and they can actually, it's theirs. Like, you're recording your own thing. You can give it to your friends and family. It's yours. This is, this is their doing. I'm not, even though I'm the program creator, side director, I'm not, you know, I just want to see what they do. I want to see what they know. I'm not there, even though we're teaching them, advancing it, we also, as a program director, we're also going to see what they can do, meaning that in the classes, we're not only going to be teaching them, but they're also going to be teaching us, meaning that we're going to see what they know, see what they can do. So um, right now we're going to PCA. When we come back, we're going to talk about more of Jag Gerald's program that he's doing. Stay tuned. I heard some things. My friends have talked. School is different. My parents are different. Afraid? Afraid. Afraid. I don't want to be afraid. Afraid to go to school? Afraid to play outside? Afraid to grow up. I didn't grow up afraid, and I don't want him to either. We must speak out. The right to bear arms or your child's safety. Which one is more important to you? The choice is yours. Te busco a las once. Y nada de cinco minutos más. Sí, papá. Si te lo condicionas con un tratamiento, te queda suavecito. ¿Por qué no te pones esa blusa? Ok. Y cuidado con esos muchachitos por ahí, ¿eh? En casa se habla de todo, menos sobre los peligros de la marihuana. ¿Quieres probar? Tienes muchas oportunidades. Habla con tus hijos antes de que otros lo hagan. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome to yeah, my hat. <laughs> um, Gerald is gonna um, so people could um, do you have a Facebook page so people could um, actually yeah. see what's posted? Yes, I do have a Facebook page. I'm actually in the creation of making the program page itself. Um, that one I'm actually doing later this week. Actually, I'm making actually, it's gonna have multiple social networks to the program. They're gonna have the Facebook, the Twitter, the Gmail, like a main Gmail for it. And because every program director in, you know, every teacher is gonna have their own Gmail account, but it's just gonna be incorporated with um, Multicore Unlimited. It, but yeah, it's um, the Facebook page. It's gonna have the title Multicore Unlimited, the picture, everything. And each week, I'm actually gonna be posting, you know, the events. You know, um, we're gonna have videos on it with the kids. And the only people that can actually see it is the parents only. That's it. And you know, once the parents see it, it's not gonna go public. It's only gonna be for just for the parents and family and friends of the kids who's in the program. They can see their work that they're doing. I mean, video, drawing, poetry, whatever. And if the kids, and it's on, on consent, meaning that if the parents want them to post it on the Facebook page, it's up to them. Even for the kids, if they don't want to, that's all right. If they want to print it out, give it to their parents, whatever. They can do whatever they want. Once again, this is their program that they're going to be running. So I want to say I'm, all, I'm the assistant directors and then I'm also helping out with the television production and poetry. Again, if you want more information about this, go on um, Multicore Unlimited, and you can also email me in the bottom of the bottom of the screen. It has my TV show email. You can um, email me.